And I came to let somebody know for the next 10 seconds. The Bible says, let us not be weary in a well doing. For in due season, you go leap if you're afraid not. I wish I had a couple of people in here that you felt like you were looked over. You felt like people didn't understand your sacrifice. You felt like people didn't understand that you gave your last. But I came to tell you tonight, be not weary in the world. God, I feel like preaching in here. For in due season, you're going to reap if you're faint not. Just grab that neighbor by the hand and tell them, neighbor, I'm going to reap. Yes, sir. For they that sow in tears shall reap. God, I feel like preaching. Shall reap in joy. Is there anybody in here that you've been sowing in tears? But I dare you for the next 15 seconds, open your mouth and praise Him because you're getting ready to reap. I'm about to get up out of here. God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Hey! Oh, God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. I thank you for the anointing. So you must understand. The Bible says now, glory to God. The Bible lets us to understand, glory to God, that now they're in a situation that they can't get themselves out of. Yeah. And so the Bible allows us to understand, glory to God, that their circumstance changed, but the purpose did That's a revelation right there. Some of us, we allow our circumstance to get in the way of our purpose. And I'll tell you what I mean right now. The Bible says in the beginning that they were on their way to pray. But now that they're in jail, they begin to pray and sing praises. And some of us, we allow our circumstance to get us to the place where we don't do the will of God that is on our life. But touch somebody and say your circumstance might change. But your purpose is still the same. Yes, sir. Let me close. Let me close with this one. I got to get up out of here. Hallelujah. I started at 10.10. It's 10.29. Yes, sir. You must understand the Bible says. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises under God. And I want you to understand in the text, we get so excited. Glory to God when it says midnight. But I want you to understand Midnight is just the time of the day We get so excited And we say when I today kisses tomorrow But that's not what the text is saying If they praise God at 5 o'clock It would have happened at 5 o'clock If they praise God at 7 o'clock It would have happened at 7 o'clock But I came to tell you That the moment you open up your mouth And Praise God. The moment you lift up your hands and give it glory. The moment you allow your problem to take a back seat. God is about to give you what you ask for. Grab somebody by the hand and tell them neighbor. I came tonight because I need God to do something. I came tonight because there's nobody else that can do what I need but God there's nobody in my life that can do what I need but God if you need God to do something I dare you to open up your mouth and shout yeah yeah understand now the Bible allows us to know glory to God that glory to God now Paul and Silas
is are in this situation. And I want you to understand that when God addresses you, he comes to address two situations. He comes to address your problem, but then he comes to address your posture. Yes, Holy Ghost. He wants to address your problem, but he wants to address your posture. Go to God, and he does it in reverse order. He addresses your posture first, and then he addresses your problem. What did he say to the man? He said, Will thou be made whole? He didn't tell her what issue you had. He said, Will thou be made whole? And the problem in the church is we're so concerned about our problem that our posture when we come to church as we sit down with our legs crossed. Our posture when we come to church as we all fold our arms and we don't open up our mouth and praise God. But I dare you, and then we're going to get up out of here, but I dare you to let your posture outweigh your problem and open your mouth and shout yeah yeah come on Jack let's get up out of here touch somebody by the hand and tell them oh neighbor yeah I've got a reason to praise God I dare you to grab that neighbor by the and tell them, oh, neighbor, I've got a right to give God praise. You don't know what he's done for me. You don't know how he set me free. You don't know how he healed my body. You don't know how he gave me the victory. Come on, give me some peace. Grab somebody and tell them, neighbor, I've got a reason. To open my mouth, I dare you. For the next 30 seconds, open your mouth, shout it this. Yes, sir. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not supposed to be standing here. Shut up. I'm not supposed to be standing here. I came to let you know there was a situation that came on me this week. God, I feel you. Glory to God. There was a situation that came up on me this week. Glory to God. I was walking for about two weeks of possible and I felt some pain in my leg and some of us us younger ones we keep on pushing because we don't want to give in to the pain glory to God and so I went to the doctor about two weeks after I was feeling the pain and I got a call from the doctor that said I had two blood clots in my leg I couldn't walk I was in a wheelchair on Monday I couldn't walk at all I was feeling pain I was gonna call Brother Malik and I was gonna tell him look I can't come this week I can't walk but look at somebody and say there's a miracle here.
to die. He traveled to my lungs, and my lungs couldn't collapse. Which means sudden death. But understand this. After I went to the doctor Friday night, and they told me, look, because the pain was always in my right calf. Then it went from my right calf to my thigh. And I went to the doctor. They said, look, you got to keep walking around, nothing wrong. You got to give it a couple more days. The first thing I did was went to the house of God. Hey, and I began to feel my strength for the joy of the Lord is my strength and I'm going to shift it right here I need you to open your mouth right now I'm done preaching I need you to open your mouth right now some of you need strength some of you need God to do something God told me there's a miracle in the house I want you to begin to open your mouth and praise God even right now God. 